What's up everyone, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're gonna look at how we can fix and troubleshoot plugins that aren't working inside Final Cut Pro 10. Let's jump inside Final Cut Pro 10. And the first thing I want to mention is that at any time inside Final Cut Pro, we can open up our effects panel by pressing Command 5. Here we can find our installed effects and transitions. We can close out of that again by pressing Command 5. If we head over into the opposite corner, we can select our Titles and Generators panel, and we can drop down to see the different groups for each option. I thought it was important to mention this because when I first started editing with Final Cut Pro 10, there was a few times when I had installed a plugin and I couldn't find it inside Final Cut Pro. Turns out I was looking in the wrong area. I was trying to find a generator under the effects panel or vice versa. So that is why I wanted to touch on that real quickly. Now the first thing we want to make sure of before we buy or install a new plugin is that our computer can actually run the plugin correctly. I will give you a quick example. If I head over to Pixel Film Studios, which is an awesome company that creates all sorts of cool plugins for Final Cut Pro 10, and I'm interested in buying their stabilizer plugin, I can check under system requirements to see what my computer needs to be able to run the plugin. This happened to me once where I bought a plugin, I was so excited to use it, and then I noticed that my computer at the time couldn't actually run the plugin. It simply didn't meet the system requirements. So that is the first thing we want to check on, and we can simply do this by heading over to our Apple icon, about this Mac, and there we can see what operating system we're running, the processor, memory, graphics card, and so forth. We can also check on our version of Final Cut Pro 10 by heading into our Finder, Applications, Final Cut Pro, and there we can see what version we have installed. Now what do we do when we have installed the plugin, our computer has the system requirements, but it still isn't working or we're getting the red warning inside Final Cut Pro. First step is to simply quit out of Final Cut Pro by hitting Command Q and open it back up to see if that helps the issue. It sometimes can be as simple as that. If the issue continues, we are going to quit once again and we are going to head into our Finder, Home tab, Movies, and Motion Templates. This is where our effects, generators, titles, and transitions for Final Cut Pro 10 are stored. It is important to make sure the plugin that isn't working is in the right folder. If the plugin is a transition, it should be in the transitions folder, and the same goes for titles, effects, and generators. An important thing we need to double check on is that our motion templates folder is localized. And we can simply do this by right clicking the folder, get info, and under name and extension, it should be motion templates.localized. The same rule goes for our effects, generators, titles, and transitions folders. This means the folders are synced with Final Cut Pro 10, and if you don't have them localized for some reason, don't worry, you can add the extension yourself by typing in .localized. If everything checks out and the plugin is still not working, the first thing we want to do is double check for any pending updates for Final Cut Pro 10 by heading to the App Store and selecting Updates. But if yours still needs to be updated, go ahead and do that first. Second is to head back into our finder, find the plugin that isn't working, move it to the trash, empty out your trash, re-download the plugin from wherever you first got it, and reinstall it. This will hopefully fix the issue, but if the problem still persists, there are a few more things we can check on. First, to make sure that if the plugin is a title or a generator, you are placing it on top of the timeline. If the plugin is an effect, you drop it directly into your footage, and if it is a transition, it goes right in between two clips. There will be times when you might need to make your clips a bit shorter or longer for certain transitions and effects to work properly. If you are someone that is specifically getting this red warning sign inside Final Cut Pro 10, it is Final Cut Pro's way of saying something is missing or not working properly in the actual file. So going through the steps we covered in this video will be important in fixing the issue. The few times I have had this red warning with plugins, I simply deleted the plugin, emptied my trash, re-downloaded, reinstalled, and restarted my computer, and that fixed the problem. I have noticed that when there's an update for Final Cut Pro 10, certain plugins stop working or they become faulty, and this might mean the creator of the plugin needs to update certain things, so that is why I highly recommend re-downloading and reinstalling if a plugin continues to give you trouble. If you're looking for a video on how to properly download and install plugins inside Final Cut Pro 10, I have created a separate one where I take you through a step-by-step -step process, and I'm going to link that up above right now. Lastly, if you tried all of these options and the problems still persist, I would get in touch with the actual creator of the plugin and see how they might be able to help you or leave me a comment down below and I would be happy to assist you. 
I hope you found the video helpful. If you like Final Cut Pro 10, if you like photography, videography, I really think you will enjoy my channel. So consider subscribing and thanks for watching. It really does mean a lot to me and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.